Hey, welcome back. The shelter in place is getting old. What I wouldn't give for a haircut about now. But hey, in the meantime, I'd like to talk to you today. We're going to talk about e and the Devil's Tower, gravity feeding the pumpkins. We'll give you a little preview of that. Join us this summer. We'll talk more about the gravity drip tape. We're also going to show you how we're keeping the pumpkins warm now. We're having a cold snap this week. And uh, hey, please join us today. Also got a little bonus tip about what you should never do with Luan plywood. All right, please join us. Sunday, May 3rd. This is the 2145 McMullen, the $500 seed. We have the house up with the screen on it. This is a screen for daytime temperatures. It filters the harsh sun, 20% of the harsh sun. Lets the rain through, good airflow. I don't like plastic because it gets too hot. It gets too hot in there. So there you go, this is how we're gonna protect them. You see the green tub? They're calling for the 30s all week it's going to be in the 30s we do not have soil cables in this week so we'll slip that tub over top of there e rye will have to come out here every night put the tub over top we may even get down to 28 on friday night we may have to uh get a heat source in there but they definitely won't get damaged by the frost if they're covered like that here we go here's another plant here's a 1734s we're prepared to cover them tonight Tonight's going to be a low of 41. What do you say, Eri? You got permission to be in there? Do I got permission? Yeah. Oh, do I have to have permission? Yeah. After last year? Yeah. Eri don't want me in the garden because I killed the plants last year. Right? Yeah. All right. Well, I'm not spraying. <laughs> I want to talk to you about the water tower. Tell me about the gravity feed water tower. See, you got it up here. Oh, it works good. You got it? You've been load testing it? Yeah. Well, you did. If you watched the last video, I'll link this back to the last video if you missed it. This is the, uh, what is it, the Devil's Tower? Yeah, flushed it all out through the line. He flushed the line out. This is our gravity feed. Each one of these connectors, if you're new to growing, this is drip tape irrigation. Each one of these valves can be turned on and off. This is the header line. We'll have drip tape come across every every foot okay literally every foot yeah. and we'll have a drip tape go across here with an emitter every 12 inches that leaves a 12 inch circle and now last year we used that tank that tank's only 10 feet off the ground now according i'm gonna use it this year too yeah that tank's water and a half and this is water and another half okay now that other tank's only 10 feet off the yeah, ground correct it works great according to science that's only like um, eight pounds of pressure or less than that. No, it waters 55 feet. Good. Actually, it's only like uh, four and a half pounds of pressure. It works good. Okay, but you're, we're supposed to have 10 pounds of yeah. pressure to operate the drip tape. Okay. Now this here is 12 foot high. You got the 12 foot plus the length of the tank makes it 16. So we're 16 foot high when the tank is full times point four something pounds of pressure per foot. Yeah, that one's higher too. It's more than 10 foot. Okay. That's that's more than 10 foot. Yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. Well down there, that's 10 foot. And then when you oh, add yeah. the tank, that tank's six feet tall. Oh yeah. So that's that's 16 foot tall yeah, when it's full. It works nice. So there's about eight pounds of pressure coming out of that. It works beautiful. All right. So there you go. There, we'll open the valve. What the whole point of it, folks, is he'll fill the tank with the well water from the house. The water gets Good a job. chance to warm up, which is better for the plants to have warm water. He can add all the nutrients, right? Your humic acids, your fertilizers, stir it, mix them up, and then with the gravity feed, he opens a valve and just lets it drop down. It'll drop down, feed this header line, and What's 55 feet? The trunk. 55 feet. That's 55 feet? 55 feet. Okay. The yeah. The other one's 55 feet, the other half. All right. So it's 110, you know, the garden's 110. So you're off the grid with drip tape other than your well, running the well yeah. in the house. It's well water, right? Yeah. 
So you don't have to worry about chlorine. No. If it was chlorinated water, he could fill that tank and let the chlorine set for eight hours. The chlorine would be evaporate out of the tank. The hell with that. Hell with that. Right. The hell with that. We got well water. Might be good in the water. So there you go. There you have it. That's letting you know. But we are getting covered up here. Here we're a little bit hillbilly redneck. This will be the frost protection for our ugly pumpkin. Don't you grow no ugly pumpkins. This is the 1984 Baron. All right. So, and we're also talking about culling. The reason we grow two plants is to see we're looking for the normal plant, okay? More than we're looking for the more aggressive plant. Sometimes a plant will grow out and it'll be challenged. It'll be, imagine if you had, you know, 50 siblings. If you had 50 siblings, a couple of you would be challenged. We're looking for that challenged plant to eradicate it, all right? So not so much as looking for an aggressive plant because aggressive plants don't always grow the biggest pumpkin. Sometimes a slower plant that starts out will end up growing the heavier pumpkin. All right. This is your, uh, that yellow on there is uh, magnesium deficiency. You can fix that with a little bit of sulfur. Put Epsom salts, one tablespoon of Epsom salts in a gallon of water. Water that into your plants and you won't get any more of that yellow. But anyways, culling the two plants is a way to roll. I think it's a way to make sure you don't end up with a defective plant. That's the main purpose for me. Some people look for the more aggressive plant. I don't really agree with that because we're not growing plants. We're, we're, we're growing fruit. The 2009 Wallace was a slow starter. A fruit loop? Yeah. A couple of fruit loops. Eri is climbing the Devil's Tower, as he calls it. Look at that beautiful sunset. Pumpkin plants are tucked in for the night. Around my legs and jump off. Yeah? You're gonna wrap those around your leg and do what? And jump off. He's gonna bungee jump the <laughs> devil's tower. <laughs> yeah. yeah. All right. Be careful, old man. Yeah, he's all tight. Don't, don't make this a funniest home video. Nice. Man, you look like an ant down there. Yeah? Yeah. <laughs> Looking good? You see me? Looking good, yeah. Woo! I hear you knocking, but you can't come in. Right. That's one of my favorite songs. <laughs> look at that sunset. Oh, man. Yeah. It's gorgeous. Beautiful day. Yeah, I got the hose clamped with the hose clamp here so it can't slide off. Yeah. It works real good. That's what I wanted to come up here and look. Yeah, I noticed you got this set up real nice. Yeah. I'm impressed. I got those those hose clamps down there, pipe clamps. Yeah. Because we got new tables and we didn't need those no more. So I, got, I got a big bag of them. Very nice, Eri. Very nice. The devil would be proud. All right. All right. You got any tips for the uh, growers? Only way to go. Gravity feed? Yeah. Growing off the grid with e -Rye and Bubba. Keep it a secret, but go tell a friend. I like this new tank because I can see the water in it. There you go. You know, I can see the water because the water is right where my hand is. Yeah. I, I can, when I look out my door in the morning, I can see the water in this tank. It's a 250-gallon tote. Uh, 250 is right where my hand is. Okay. So it's probably at least another 10 gallons in it. I think they call them 270s. I think they're 270s. So it's got to be at least 260 or maybe 270. There you go. Because 250 is right here. Okay. Because you can fill it all the way to here. All right. Warm the water, fill it with nutrients, mix them up, check your PPMs, and let her go. 20 minutes later, we have covered the house. What we'll do is it's going to be low tonight, 41. Maybe out here in Holly, probably be 38, 39 degrees tonight as the nights get cooler. What we'll do is we'll get ready for the, for, for, for the hawk to come down the end of the week. We'll add more layers as it gets colder. And then if we have to, we'll, we'll bring prepared. in some electric. All right? Prepared. We'll be all right. All right.
There you go, covered for the night. Hey, Bubba's bonus tip for the day. We're gonna switch back to a little remodeling work. All right, I'm tearing up this quarter inch Luan. This is quarter inch Luan. That's how we laid some vinyl on over a floor. All right, we're tearing it out today. And what we have here is they glued the Luan down. Never, never, never glue down Luan. The purpose of Luan is it's an underlayment that can be easily removed for the next time you want to put down a different floor. I find it all the time. Uh, dumb and dumber, they glue the stuff down because they're overkill kind of guys. You don't glue it down. All right, Bubba tip for the day. Don't be a knucklehead and glue down Luan. All right, I'll, I'll thank you very much. Hey, I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you liked it, please subscribe to the channel, click on the bell, turn on your notifications, and stay tuned for the videos. It's going to be an exciting summer with the 10K Tomato, the 150 Giant Pumpkin Contest for you new guys. That's who can grow the biggest pumpkin on 150 square feet. The current record is held by John Butler of Canada. It's 1,174 pounds. We're going to see if we can... You know, John's a great guy, but hey, I hate to take his record, but we're going to give it a snap. We're going to give it a try, see if we can take it. Um, also, stay tuned for the Clay Garden Cure in Dawn's Garden next door, growing some regular vegetables. We also have, I have the Colossal Green Pepper. We have all kinds of things going on this summer. Hey, please join us. Thank you today. Leave a comment below. We'll have another seed giveaway this week. All right, talk to you soon, man. Keep it a secret, but go tell a friend. Bub and e -Ride are growing big in 2020. This is why we don't glue down Luan. You, you knuckleheads, two men in a crowbar can't get it up. All right. Arr.